Sibba Jet Aircraft is the manufacturer of the SJ-30 light business jet. The company's headquarters is in Cedar City, Utah adjacent to the Cedar City Regional Airport with additional engineering offices and manufacturing, service, repair and fatigue test facilities near and on the San Antonio International Airport in San Antonio, Texas. Sinoswear Engine Aircraft Company was the name of the original development company for the SJ-30. After a decade of aircraft development and ultimately receiving the type certification from the FAA, for the SJ-30, SSAC was purchased in August 2008, by Emirates Investment and Development Corporation and was renamed MI Vest Aerospace Corporation. In April 2011 the assets of MI Vest Aerospace were purchased by MT. LC of Cedar City, Utah, and in March 2011 the company began doing business as Sibba Jet Aircraft. On May 1, 2014 Sibba Jet Aircraft held a groundbreaking ceremony for a completion and delivery center to be constructed adjacent to the Cedar City Regional Airport. History Swear Engine Aircraft was founded by Ed Swear Engine in 1959. Early work by the company included the development of prototype aircraft for other manufacturers, such as the twin Comanche prototype developed for Piper Aircraft during 1962 and the development of several research helicopters for the Bell Helicopter Company, work which led to the Huey Cobra. The company also developed modifications of other designs, an activity Ed Swearingen had been involved in prior to his forming Swearingen Aircraft. These modification programs included the Excalibur 800 conversion of the BH Craft Twin Bonanza. Airframe improvements included modifying the cabin to allow entry via an airster instead of over the RH wing to a door, and landing gear doors that fully enclosed the wheels when retracted. The airster was factory fitted by BH Craft during manufacture of the Ultimate J50 model of the Twin Bonanza. The Queen Air development of the Twin Bonanza also received the swear engine treatment, the Queen Air Excalibur having less extensive modifications, also involving fitting of 400 horsepower IO720s, replacing the more troublesome and lower power geared light coming engines installed at manufacture, and the enclosed landing gear doors. The United States Army had several of its U-8 versions of the Queen Air modified to this standard. Excalibur aircraft are easily distinguishable from standard twin Bonanzas and Queen Airs by the landing gear doors and the more rectangular engine cowlings of the Excaliburs compared to the rounded cowlings of the originals. The Excaliburs led to the first swear engine design, the SA-26 Merlin, which could be described as a pressurized Excalibur. The Merlin had modified Queen Air wings with redesigned fuel tanks, Queen Air horizontal tails, and twin Bonanza landing gear. The Merlin's fuselage and vertical fin represented Swear Engine's contribution to the overall design. The next step was turbine power, through the SA-2060 Merlin IIA with Pratt & Whitney Canada .6s and the follow-on SA-2680 Merlin IIB with Garrett TPE-331 turboprops. Next came the all-new SA-2060 Merlin III with new wings, landing gear and cruciform horizontal tail mated to a slightly stretched version of the fuselage used on the Merlin 2 series. The design effort reached its logical conclusion with the Metro series of 19-seat airline aircraft, the first of which had its first flight on August 26, 1969. By this time the company was in financial difficulties and lacked the resources to proceed further, so the Metro did not enter production until Swearingen Aircraft was taken over by Fairchild in 1972. The company was then renamed the Swearingen Aviation Corporation with Ed Swearingen a 10% shareholder and chairman of the board of directors. A total of 1,053 Merlins and Metros were produced when production ended in 1998. 350 short fuselage Merlins and 703 long fuselage Merlins and Metros. In 1971 Piper Aircraft entered into merger negotiations with Swearingen, but did not finalize the merger. In 1973 Ed Swearingen formed a new company and went back to modifying aircraft, developing a new version of the Lockheed Jetstar on behalf of the manufacturer and Garrett. The modifications entailed installing new Garrett TFE 731 engines and aerodynamic improvements to the airframe, 
increasing the Jetstar's range from 1,800 nautical miles to 2,600 nautical miles with no increase in fuel capacity. The company then manufactured jet engine nacelles and other aircraft components as a subcontractor to various manufacturers including Cessna, Gates Learjet and Dassault. On May 1, 1982 Ed Swearingen resigned from Fairchild and exercised his right to reacquire the Swearingen business name. Fairchild changed the name of Swearingen Aviation to Fairchild Aircraft Corporation and Ed Swearingen's company then became the Swearingen Aircraft Corporation. The company devoted its energies to developing a new small jet for the general aviation market, which was eventually developed into the SJ-30-2. The company was renamed Sino Swearingen in 1995 and it was converted into a limited company from a partnership on November 5, 1999. Financial backers of the company include the C. Paragraph E. Foreign Ministry of Economic Affairs, Government of Taiwan. The company is privately held, and sales for 2005 are reported at 25.3 million US dollars. SSAC had spent over 12 years and over 700 million US dollars in total investment by 2008, when investors from Dubai were introduced to Sino Swearingen by Action Aviation, Sino Swearingen a Euro unregistered trademark s largest distributor. The Dubai based company became the majority shareholder in Sino Swearingen, with the Taiwanese government and private investors such as Action Aviation taking minority stakes. The acquisition by the Dubai investors followed the withdrawal from the sale in 2007 of SSAC's former investor, ACQ Capital, which was unable to proceed due to its exposure to the U.S. subprime market. A September 17, 2008 press release stated that the Dubai investors would provide additional funding of up to $1 billion to help it design and develop its second aircraft model. The SJ-30 program was the first aircraft program to successfully petition for and gain approval to certify as a PAR-23 commuter category jet. In 1996 Sino Swearingen petitioned to certify as a commuter category aircraft arguing that it was as safe, or safer than the current PAR-23 commuter category aircraft. At the time only the Fairchild Metro 23 and the Beechcraft 1900D had been certified under these rules. Approval of this request allowed the SJ-30 program to exceed the £12,500 takeoff weight limit of PAR-23 and paved the way for other companies to follow the SJ-30 lead. The SJ-30 program was the first jet aircraft company in over 30 years to develop, certify, and manufacture a brand new jet aircraft. With all of its trials and tribulations, the SJ-30 program showed why it is so difficult to build a company and develop and certify an aircraft at the same time, thus demonstrating why no one else had done it since Learjet. The SJ-30 program was the first to fly both the Williama Euro unregistered trademark SFJ-44-1 and FJ-44-2A engine and was instrumental in developing the engines with Williams International. Subsequent incorporation of the engines at Cessna and Raytheon led to their Citation Jet and Premier aircraft, respectively. In keeping with Ed Swearingen a Euro unregistered trademark S vision of a better light jet, the SJ-30 was the first aircraft designed around a 12-psi cabin for more comfort in the cabin. The 12-psi cabin results in a sea-level cabin through 41,000 feet and less than a 1,800 feet cabin at its ceiling of 49,000 feet. The 12 psi cabin was first demonstrated in flight by company pilots on August 23, 2004. The original SJ-30-1 prototype was on display at the Lone Star Flight Museum in Galveston, Texas when it was flooded by Hurricane Ike. As proof of its speed and range capability the SJ-30 holds the following World a Euro unregistered trademark S records through the FAINAA. Recognized speed over a closed course Euro San Antonio, Texas to Goose Bay, Canada Recognized speed over a closed course, San Antonio, Texas to London, England Recognized speed over a closed course, London, England to Dubai. UAE, in 2006, FAR Copyright DAO Copyright Rational Copyright Ronautique International the International Umbrella Organization of the National Aeronautic Association awarded Sino Swearingen Aircraft Corporation a Euro unregistered trademark SSJ-30 the FAI Honorary Group Diploma. 
Sinoswear Engine was acquired by investors from Dubai in 2008. The Dubai based company became the majority shareholder in Sinoswear Engine, with the Taiwanese government and private investors taking minority stakes. The company name was changed to the MI Vest Aerospace Corporation. On October 26, 2010, MI Vest filed for bankruptcy after being unable to find further funds to continue operations. On April 7, 2011, a judge approved sale of MI Vest assets to MT, LLC of Utah, an ownership group affiliated with Metalcraft Technologies, Incorporated of Cedar City, Utah, a part supplier for the SJ-30. According to a news article, MI Vest Vice President Mark Fairchild stated that according to his understanding, MT, LC planned to maintain MI Vest as a jet manufacturer, though he didn't know any details. On June 15, 2011, MT, LC, the Cedar City, Utah based company that purchased the assets of MI Vest out of bankruptcy announced that the new company name would be Sibber Jet Aircraft. Sibber Jet owns the SJ 30 type certificate. During and in support of the NBAA show Sibber Jet signs contract with Honeywell International for the development and purchase of its Apex Avionics platform to be branded as Sibber Vision R for the SJ-30. In addition, Sibber Jet's Factory Part 145 service center is appointed as a Williams International service station. Honeywell was chosen for several reasons but the ability to get to market the quickest as well as their more attractive financial model pushed the decision in their favor. In June 2013 Sibber Jet announces a family of companies under the MSC Aerospace brand. MSC Aerospace is a family of integrated and synergistic companies with aerospace-related operations. Sibber Jet Aircraft is the manufacturer of the World A Euro unregistered trademark S Fastest Light Jet, the SJ-30. Sibber Jet assembles major assemblies, installs components, and systems, complete final assembly and production ground and flight tests in Cedar City, Utah as well as offices that include executive, finance, procurement, completions, and sales marketing offices. The Texas location provides engineering, flight test operations, and flight training as well as the location for the central repair station for support of the SJ-30 customer fleet. Cedar City also has a satellite repair station location to support the West Coast customer fleet. Metalcraft Technologies, Inc. is another one of the MSC Aerospace companies which supports the fabrication and assembly of detail aircraft parts and aerostructures for leading aircraft manufacturers. In fact, MTI produced approximately 70% of the sheet metal parts and assembled the aft fuselage on the SJ-30 since 1997. Other customers include Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Gulfstream, Middle River, Piper Aircraft, and Cessna Aircraft CBI Associates is the third member of the MSC Aerospace family and is real estate development and management arm of MSC. Sibber Jet announces final assembly location during press ceremonies in Cedar City, Utah. The Utah Governor a Euro unregistered trademark S Office of Economic Development Board of Directors and elected officials from Iron County and Cedar City have approved financial incentives for MSC Aerospace and its subsidiaries Sibber Jet Aircraft and Metalcraft Technologies totaling almost $45 million. MTI and SJA will use these incentives to expand their manufacturing facilities in Cedar City, Utah in support of the production of the SJ-30 business jet. References External links, company website, company website, distributor website.